you want a whisky distillery, you need to have the distillery. So a turnkey distillery, you need equipment and technology, still a craft, yes. no computers no, doing no, any no. of the process, no, built, no, no, no. right? But there was no one in Tasmania that made whisky distilleries. Besides, we, we had one person, Peter Bailey, that made stills, but didn't provide a turnkey solution. And with the delivering of energy the way I wanted and everything else. So this was unavailable in Tasmania. I came very close to buying a, a, a turnkey distillery from Forsyth in Scotland, from Frilly in Italy, and from Carl in Germany. And Bill Lark being Bill Lark, <laughs> kept telling me not to sign the contract and don't buy it. And I was totally with Bill, but what can you do if the technology wasn't available in Tasmania? Where can you go? So this probably went on for a couple of years, I yeah, would imagine. quite some time. Yep. Yeah. So I actually received the contract from Frilly in the end and, and the guys in Teelings, and I was just about to sign the contract and Bill said, look, let's have, there's, I've heard they're starting to dabble with some stills over in northern Tasmania. Let's go. And I said, oh, Bill, look, I'm sick and... <laughs> I wasn't going to give up. John. Yeah, no, I know Bill would never give up, but I just reached, I was going to give up. You know, but it, it's something that really haunted me to make Tasmanian single malt with Italian equipment. It just didn't feel right, but I had no choice. So I said to Bill, look, I'll go up with you one more time and if we can't do it, I've got to buy it from overseas. And that's when I met a fellow named um, Mark Kolochevsk. He owns Colmark. And I said to Mark, I said, look, this is my dream. Can you build it? He says, look, we, we can build stills, but we don't know anything about a turnkey distillery. But, you know, I'm happy to learn. And that's when we started a different journey. So Mark and I and, and a few blokes, we went over to Cardrona Distillery in New Zealand and Mark climbed all over it. You know, he's an engineer, he just looked at every component of the distillery and, and then I could see that he knew what he was talking about because when someone tells me they don't know, it means, they what do they say? The beginning of wisdom is emptiness, right? So Mark said he didn't know, I thought, well, we've got a chance here. So we went to Cardrona and he spoke to Desiree's father and Desiree's husband. Ash. Ash, lovely people. And they were doing all the engineering talk. And I was so happy and I could see Mark. And Mark kept saying, oh yeah, we can build this better or do that better. And I, and I, I knew I was in safe hands then. And that's when our journey started. So Mark was studying and learning, researching how to engineer, design and engineer a turnkey distillery. And now I'm so proud to say Thanks to Bill, and, and, and more so thanks to uh, Mark as well, we now have what I call the Rolls Royce of all distilleries, you know. And it's a Tasmanian. It's 100% Tasmanian. Tasmanian. So now we can make Tasmanian whiskey with Tasmanian technology. Mm.